people are very concerned in the lighting departments about what this equipment is and, the, and I've been asked to actually review it because this is a weapon system all right it's nothing more than a weapon now I know it's masquerading as a light but it's a weapon all right so let's just show you let's just break this whole thing down and show people what this is all right I'm gonna first of all I'm gonna take this piece this antenna piece the pieces all right people have seen it before they've seen the breakdown all right let's just Unloosen this piece. The DOT says when the LED lights were installed about 16 months ago, they gave off the normal white light, but within a year, their true colors started shining through. All right, let's just break this down and let's show people what this is. All right, this is the Harvard piece of technology. Obviously, that's the antenna. That's a scanner, it's a radar. It's a radar piece of equipment. You can see that. This has got the 450 volt capacitor on it. And you see the cabling. It's really important to see that cabling. This is the delivery system, all right? This is an extremely dangerous piece of hardware. This is a single element and a 31,875. A lot of people making complaints to the council now and making complaints where they've been lied to on a regular basis about this technology. So, Councils are lying about what this is. Let's just show people this is not a dipole antenna. Look, it's a high gain dielectric lens antenna. All right, it's in a little bit better shape than the other one that we've shown the video on, but that is an illegal piece of equipment. It's not a part 15 FCC approved piece of equipment. This can target the choir. It's weird off. That's a scanner. All right, it's a scanning antenna. They are illegal. Anybody thinks that councils have the right to scan into your home are mistaken. That's an offence in law. All right, let's just pop that back because people have seen that breakdown before and they've also seen this breakdown before. This is an LED streetlight. Let's see what's inside. Uh -oh. What's really important is to have a look at this bit of hardware. Now, this box. It's actually been made so you can't get into it, all right? It's a sealed unit, which has had to be taken to pieces. Obviously, we've got to be careful with this because it's got to get sent back, because it's got to go back in the stores. What I'm going to show people, this is the hardware. This is the delivery system. This is coming from these units here. This is the delivery system to the weapon, all right? That's the delivery system to the weapon. This is the cabling, because I've had a couple of foolish people, absolute ignorance. That's the cabling of the LED streetlights, as you'll see, they're very thin. They're not that thin because they don't carry a great deal of power, and they won't burn out. However, this piece of cabling is pretty powerful stuff, and it has to be because you've got a 450 volt capacitor in this bit, but you've also got a number of 450 volt capacitors on the board. These are not for the LEDs. This is the LED delivery system here. All right? There's transformers on here to reduce the power to one of these small cables, which fit into this for the LEDs. All right? You do not need this type of capacity. Only a fool, only a very, very ignorant fool would even pretend that this is some type of ballast, all right? These are LEDs for the ignorant. This isn't the fluorescent lamp needing ballast to put a lot of energy in. We all know that LEDs operate on very, very small amounts of energy, so they do not need. So this is a step down to these small cables. However, this is a step up to this delivery system, because obviously if you're gonna use a weapon, it needs to have a bit of pork, needs to have a bit of power about it, all right? So that fits to there. This then goes to this, and obviously that's the 450 volt capacitor, all right? You've seen it in the closer breakdowns before, and this is the weapons delivery system, all right? That's the high gain 
antenna, illegal high gain antenna. A number of people have contacted Northumbria police about the genocide that's been committed on the people in Gateshead as we speak. Lots of people. So we'll be progressing that. As I was called by Northumbria police about this. And obviously, I'm still waiting for a senior investigating officer to contact me about this weaponry and how outrageous this is that a council can fit an unregulated, untested, illegal piece of equipment on a bit of street lighting. You've got to remember, Shreda have that own controller. It's not Harvard. You've got a totally different controller to that. It was called Owlet. It's not this. This is a weapon system. That's the difference. It's not for controlling the lights, and that's why the lights are on all the time. But he has the other part of a wedding. Purple lights are being spotted all along stretches of I-4. Some drivers say the lights are so noticeable it's a distraction. Box 35's Danielle Lama looks into what's causing it. I'm going to show you in here. These are bare elements. These are focused lenses. All right? They're focused lenses. See the small cables? Don't need a lot of power. Not like the delivery system for the weapon, right? For the antenna, it's a weapon. These are very small cables because these do not need a lot of power. They don't need anything near 450 volts or a 3,300 watt relay. Anybody that says that is either a liar, a fool, or just indoctrinated to the point where really they're pretty useless. These are bare elements. There is no protection, there's no diffuser, these are illegal. These are a category two optical radiation emission system. They're lenses, so what they do, that creates a focus point. These are basically lasers. So that bank of lasers there, in the 450, 460 nanometers, these are phosphor coated, and that phosphor wears off over time. So these become more toxic. They become more toxic, and they will kill. They'll blind people, they cause retinal cell stress, retina cell death and they will blind an awful lot of people if they don't wear protective eyewear all right so this is the equipment this is a blatant weapons program it is not it is not a street light these are not incandescent lights these are part of a weapons program make no mistake about it and we can prove it fortunately we we'll have the evidence now the actual undisputed evidence of this equipment being here to do harm to the citizen and not as we've been told the light. That's why the lights are rubbish. That's why everybody doesn't like them. That's why they're putting them up on motorways. These are part of the smart city agenda. This is a radar scanner. So when it sees you coming, it can actually increase or reduce the pulse rate. That pulse rate modulation called flicker Modulation can be weaponized. It can be strobed and it be weaponized at any particular time through this equipment.